Clinton here from Elite Training Facility, home of Better Body Exchange, with an abtastic for your home viewing pleasure. We are going to do a 25 minute routine that's going to challenge that six pack, get it working. I'm pleased to be joined by my friends, Steph, Steph's father, HK, my beautiful wife, Dorothy. Without further ado, let's get going. Guys, down on your mats, on your belly. Grab your medicine ball, reach it in front. Now, lift your arms and legs off the floor and leave the medicine ball on the floor. Nice and strong, lift, reach with the back legs, outstretch the arms, outstretch the legs, nice and tall. Keep the spinal line, don't let the jaw drop. Now, lower back to the floor. Again, reach up as high as you can go. Get a nice arc in the back, push your tummy into the floor, Remember your breathing, in and up. Now relax, right back down. And now reach up, extend the arms. Again, nice and tight. Feel the core activate here. And lower. Now Steph and I are gonna grab our medicine ball and we're gonna continue. Reach up, hold. A lot tougher with the med ball. Now relax and back down. And last time, reach up, hold, 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 hold. Three, two, one. Come on up into a seated position. Grab your medicine ball. Put your heels on the floor, toes up. Reach that ball straight, nice strong line, and slowly roll all the way down. When the low back touches, Push back up, slowly, one vertebra at a time. Lower down and push up, slowly, one vertebra at a time. Remember your breathing, inhale down, exhale up. Keep those arms nice and tight. Keep the spine along, don't let the head drop. Tight the legs, point the toes. Slowly, nice and controlled. Good work, oh I can feel it working already. Nice and tight, reach up, slowly lower. Reach up, slowly lower. All the way down, hold at the bottom. Take those legs straight up, flex the toes, straighten the knee. Grab your mat balls, nice and tight and straight. Push and do a toe touch to your toes. Little range of motion and it's non stop. Work. The abs are engaged the entire time. Do not rest at the bottom. Remember your breathing. Now make it tougher. Point your toes towards the ceiling. Oh, you feel it now. You guys feel it back there? Yeah! Remember your breathing. Oxygen is energy team. You gotta remember that. To breathe nice and strong. We have another 15 seconds to go. In, up, in, up. Nice push. Let's get another 10 up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on up. Next up, we're doing a Russian twist. Now, sit on the floor with your heels on the floor, toes up. Reach up all, elbows slightly bent, spine aligned. All you want to do, twist from one side, the other side. One side to the other side. We're engaging the obliques now because we want a true six pack going. One side, nice arc. Let the head fall with the ball. Try and keep the hips tight. Let your obliques do it. Now Steph and I are going to go to the fast option. Lift the heels off the floor and try, you can see I'm already wiggling, try to control the wiggle as you do the crunch. As you do, oh, my obliques are screaming. How about yours, Steph? They're trying. Yes. We have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. And we have five more seconds. Ah, three, two, one. Oh, that was nice. Woo. Now we're going to a balanced crunch. Lay down on the floor, bring the knees to 90 degrees. Place that ball in your ankles. Relax the elbows and tiny little crunch. You will start to feel the legs working as well as you hold that 90 degree angle. Exhale, 
little pause at the top. Exhale, little pause at the top. Yes. Oh, I can feel my abs working. This is going to be great. This is the way to six pack team. Nice and strong. Exhale, little pause at the top. Those legs should be feeling it now. If the legs are getting too tired, simply remove the med ball and keep going. We have another 10 seconds. Squeeze. Good. And squeeze. Good. And squeeze. Two, one. Come on up. We are doing leg raises. Now, lay down nice and flat. Grab that med ball. Bring it directly overhead and rest it on the floor. We are going to start off with a alternating leg raise. One leg up. Other leg up. Keep the knee nice and straight. And try and kick and activate. Yes. Now we're going to go a little more advanced and all four of us are going to do it this way. Bring both heels off the floor at all times. Raise and lower. Raise and lower. Nice and strong. Hang on that ball. Now Steph and I are going to go into the two leg option. All the way up and all the way down. No, don't touch the floor. Up and down. Up and down. Remember the breathing team, nice and strong. Squeeze, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Come back up, very nice. Next up, we're going to do a plank. Come down, either from the elbows or from the hands. Now, first off, squeeze the heels together, squeeze the knees together, squeeze the thighs together, squeeze the glutes. Elbows are directly at the shoulders. Eyes looking slightly ahead. Option, try it from your hands. This is good. You know a plank, the world record holder for a plank is now eight hours and one second. Can you imagine that? That's a full day's work. In and out. Oh, I can feel that core engaged now. Actively squeeze the abs together. Even, steady, and strong. And next up, we're going to suitcase crunch. On your back, feet straight. Now the hands are going to be overhead holding your med ball. We're going to bring the right leg to the right hand by accordioning, accordioning the body together. Accordioning, that's awesome. In and out, in and out. Now let's go into an alternating leg raise. One side, Followed by the other side. One side, followed by the other side. Oh, I'm working on the sweat now. This is nice. Bring the knee in, reach. Engage the abdominal tract. In. 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 Remember your breathing. Don't hold your breath. In. In. One more. In. Back to set. Leg thruster. Keep your hands either to the side or hold your ball. I like to hold my ball to it. Weighs me down. Legs are straight. We're going to first bring the knees into the chest. Hold. Kick the feet straight up. Back down. Knees into the chest. And straight. Thruster up, out, and in, and down. In, up, down, out. In, up, down, and out. Oh, feel that floor. Work your six pack. Remember, it's what you get out of it, it's what you put into it. Right now, you're putting it in. Let's do it. Let's earn it. Good. Whew. Ten more seconds. Whew. Five more seconds. Let's try to get one more out. One more up, we can do it. Push, and back to set. Come on up, we're doing a windshield washer. Now, lay on your back. Keep the ball close by. Knees at 90 degrees. Arms out. Push your heel palms into the floor. And just extend the knees from one side 
to the other side. Let me touch the floor if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. That range of motion will improve over time. Across and down. Across and down. Now you want to make it tougher. Take your medicine ball. Squeeze it between the knees. And, oh, that makes it tougher. That makes it tougher. You want to make it tougher still? Take the legs straight. And, one side. And the other side. Keep the shoulders on the floor. One side. And the other side. We are done. That one. Next up, a frog crunch. Sit up right. Bring your feet together in front of you. Bring as close to the butt as your flexibility allows. Now lay down. Push those knees into the floor. Grab the sides of your ears. Elbows relaxed. Just a little crunch. All this does, it gives you different angles. What you have to understand about weight training is there's a lot of very similar exercises that basically work the same body part. However, different angles. Change that angle a little bit, you get a little different striation. So it's all it's a matter of doing is switching it up and changing your angles. Good. Nice and strong. Get that squeeze. We're coming up to the midway point in which we get a stretch. But first, we have one more exercise to get through. Then we'll stretch it for a minute. Then we go back to the back nine of the workout. Hold, hold, hold. Now, let's go into our right side plank. We're going to go on our elbow. Plank those feet one on top of the other or one in front of the other. Now, Dorothy, you have the option of doing it from your knees to show a beginner option of a plank. Keep those knees together from the knees. The rest of us, we're on our heels. Nice and breathing. Make sure the spine's aligned. The elbows are up to the shoulder. If you feel any pressure in the hips dropping, push up just an inch. Now, step nine, I'm going to raise the leg. Get a leg up. That makes it tougher. You feeling that stuff? Sure am. Good, good, good. How about you, HK? Yeah. How about you, Dorothy? Still alive. Well, oh, I'm starting to shake now. I'm starting to shake. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and down. Let's go into a little stretch. We're going to go into arms in front. Push the butt back and out. Use this time wisely. We're going to regroup for the second half of that task. And you've got to know the second half is tougher than the first half. Child's pose, hold, hold the back side, move the heels. Extend the fingertips. Push the armpit into the floor. Good work so far. We're regrouping for the second half. Now bring it up and just arc the spine, tuck the chin in, arch the back. Our next move and our first move of part two is going to be a side plank, left side. Come on to your left elbow. And it finishes. Arm nice and tight, elbow turned in the shoulder. Option for your knees as Dorothy's demonstrating. From the feet, like myself, Stephanie, and HK. Team, the families that work out together, stay together. Now I'm going to make this tougher, Stephanie. Are you ready to make it tougher? Yeah. Let's do it. Leg up. and the leg. 
Keep a nice alignment with the spine. Remember your breathing. Do not hold your breath. In and out. In and out. In and out. Now, Steph and I are going to make this a little bit tougher. We're going to come down up, rather, on our hands and toes. Align the body. The feet should be a little bit wider than normal. Take that left leg up and the right arm up. Slowly contract the elbow to the knee. Slowly, elbow, knee. Elbow, knee. Reach and extend. Elbow, knee, reach and extend. Next up, we're going to go into a flutter. Let's lay on the floor. Put your hands under your butt. Now extend the legs nice and straight and lift them. One inch off the floor. Just do a little kick. Remember when we were learning how to swim? And we held the side edge of the pool? And we practice our kidney? This is a flutter kick. The legs will get tired, but the core is engaged. One minute strong. Flex those knees. It's all a matter of control to decide how we want to shape your core. Oh, oh yes, that's getting tightened down. Oh, that's getting tightened down. Whew. Now five, four, three, two. Lower the feet to the floor. Grab your medicine ball. Bring it overhead and bring your legs out wide. We're going to bring the right cheek off the floor and bring that ball to the outside of the left knee. Left cheek off the floor, outside of the right knee. And back and forth, alternate for one minute. Keep your heels as close to the floor as you can. And remember, bring one cheek off every single time. One cheek off every single time. Ah, nice. Feel it winged now. Oh yes, we are working in full force. Shape the body, tone the body. It's all about effort. It's all about what you want, where you want to be. You want that six pack? You earn that six pack. Uh, uh, three, two, one, and good. Next up. We're going to, again, sit on our hands. We're going to, or, the other option is to bring the hands out, or bring the hands above the head. Legs are straight. We're going to bring the legs to 45 degrees. Bring up over into a 180 degree. Parallel to the floor. Back to set, 45 degrees. Up, over, parallel to the floor or ceiling. Back down. Use your core and control it on the negative aspect. Control it on the downward swing. Nice and strong. Up, over. Good, good, good. And again, up, over. Nice, control. Oh, we have 10 seconds left. Let's see if we can get out at least three, but control them back. And two, control them back. And last one. Ooh. Back to set. Now bring those feet to the floor. Bring the knees to nine degrees, feet flat. Arms extended overhead. We're gonna cur curl up and sit up. Bring the ball in our chest. Punch forward and back down. Up, punch and down. This is a almost throw. Up, out and down. Feet on the floor at all times. Up, out and down, up, out, and down, yes, up, out, and down, and up, out, and down, and up. We have 20 more seconds of this. Make it strong. Whew. Control and energize. Ah, 10 more seconds. How are you holding up back there? Woo! Yes. Last one, up, out, and down. Next up, on the floor, bring your knees to 90 degrees, grab your med ball, and find your balance point where you can just sit there nicely, balance with the knees at 90 degrees. Now, in and out. 
with the legs and push the torso forward and back as you do so. Little crunch. If you start to tire, bring your feet to the floor and just do a crunch. Up and down. This is your option if those legs are getting tired. This is your option. The other thing you can do is you can do a twist at the top or you can continue on with your 90 degree crunch. Three, two, one. We flip it over. Bird dogs on the other side. So left arm out, left leg up, palm up, bring the elbow to the knee. Elbow, extend and reach. Extend and reach. Extend and reach. Monitor your breathing. Oxygen equals energy. We're going to go up on our toes. First thing you do, bring that leg up, stabilize. Bring the arm up, stabilize. Elbow, knee. Elbow, knee. Ten more seconds. <clears throat> Two, one. Very good. Now come onto your butt again. We're going to lay flat on our backs. We're going to have to put our hands under our butt, legs straight, bring them off the floor, and draw a circle. You want the heels to almost touch the floor, and the toes to be at about 16 inches at the top of the motion. This will work the obliques and the abdominal track. Stay tight. Stay strong. It's all about what you want. What are your goals? Why are you doing this today? You could have chose not to, but you're doing it. Why? What motivates you? What do you want to achieve? Where do you want to take your body? I know I want a six pack. I'm getting it right now. Five, four, three, two. Come on up. See the position. Now, start off with, on your hands or your elbows, your choice. Extend the knees out, knees in and out. Leg tuck, in and out. Leg tuck, knees in. Now, Stephanie and I are going to make, make this tougher. Let's bring the feet out in front. Sit down. Now, try to lean forward a little bit. Extend your fingertips to the floor. Push your fingertips into the floor. Raise the feet up and down. Ten reps. We'll do another ten. Oh, very good. All right, team. Our final move. Let us go onto the hands and knees. Now bring the knees off the floor. We're going to do a mountain climber. Knee, the outside of the elbow. Make sure the spine's aligned. The head is looking forward. Are you guys ready to finish back there? Yeah. Let's do it. Let us earn it. Our final minute. This is it. This is where we earn everything. But right now, this is where everything comes together. The plan comes together. Burning calories. Building it, abdominals, nice and strong. Don't let the head drop, keep the head up. Feel that sweat, I can feel it dripping down. My nose, this is awesome. Got some nose perspiration, 20 seconds. Let's go, go, go. Can you pick up the pace? Can you pick up the pace? Just a little bit. Keep the hips down, don't let the hips come up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, that was a good workout team. Welcome to that classic. Little stretch before we finish. Back to the child's pose. Fingertips out, pull the back side, into the heels. Eyes looking forward. Oh, my knee just cracked. 
Now, push 